we are on the road again. And I guess this time we're headed down to the shop. And I've got a kid that decided he wanted an old Jeep Cherokee that's been rode hard and put away wet. So we're going to meet him down to the shop and dig out the old right hand steel jailbird. And we're going to send that baby down the road and let somebody else love on it for a while. Maybe give that thing a little tender loving care. For you guys that don't remember what the jailbird is, it's the old right hand steer Jeep Cherokee that we used over the years. We used it for quite a while for recovery. But we also used it to go recreate in and go go beat on it, I guess you could say. But uh, I had my mate, Mad Matt, four-wheel drive come over from Australia, and I turned him loose in it for a weekend, and he had a lot of fun in it. So we're going to take that old girl and get it out of my yard and put it in somebody else's. Yeah, we'll get the old heister forklift going here. There are not very many things that start better than a propane fuel heister in the cool weather. Ooh, ooh. There she goes. So around my yard right now I've got about 20 something cars that need to go to a new home. Kind of the impound lot of all impound lots. Everything's due on the 30th so all these cars. So we cut a tree down off the back of the shop the other day and we'll have to get pushed through to that. Been sitting here since old Mad Matt left her in ruins. Oh, crime in Italy. That ought to be worth some money if she started that long. At least the battery's good. The rest of it, she's the rest of her's pretty rough. All right, let's go do a walk around on this old girl. She's been. left in disrepair and looks like she's been using a garbage can. Got a radio I think I gotta get out of here. There's a tool kit. Looks like a storage unit to me. I had somebody ask me if I would tell them what I carry in my Jeep. Well after looking at the jailbird and seeing what I had in the center console um, that I thought I should get out of there before I send the Jeep packing that I haven't seen it since May. I haven't seen any of this stuff since May, so do I really need it? However, this is what I found in the Jeep so far. I've got an old Silver Eagle set that has seen better days. 
I got some 243 and a level and some miscellaneous ranches. I got a knife. Yes, that's a flashlight. Um, an ear tagger, core tool, miscellaneous bullets, tape. This pair of pliers come out of my old, my other Jeep Cherokee that burned up, so I kind of kept them as a keepsake. A dog chain, I mean, you never know. These are actually for gates and a map. Hit the pin. Some little green pills that are probably grass relief. Hunting hat. All right, I'll 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 I'll, uh, I'll do some more digging here. We'll see what else we got in there. Did a little more digging. I got into the back of that baby, and oh man, did we ever find the treasures! I've got the old crossbar handle. That's actually probably a jack handle. I think that's the purpose of that. I found my knife. Actually, that's my boy's knife, Lincoln. Another hitch pin, and look, there's some oil, a jack, some sunscreen. An old one inch rope that was probably seen better days but would get you out of a pinch. Got a couple more hunting jerseys. Beanie. Oh, and look here, Struth, mate. I got Mad Matt's hat that he left for me. Had I known that was in there, I'd have been wearing that baby. Um, and then the bag of essentials. This is a UPLA go bag with gloves, garbage bag, and some wipes. Anyways, we'll get this old girl fished out of here, send her to a new home without shedding a tear one. So far, so good. I think Mad Matt ruined that tire. I'm blaming it on him. So we're gonna finish it off. Look what's in my driveway. Cherokee tires. 33, 12, 50, 15 for the old blue Cherokee. taking this thing back to my shop today and I'm gonna go it feels like I need to bleed the brakes check some pressure in the brake lines and do a fluid check on everything you know its name? what's her name jailbird 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 all right yeah I'm gonna do a couple of routine suspension checks see what I need to get from work and then go from there See if we can get her on the road this weekend. Just 
shameless plug for your job. <laughs> yeah, Napa Auto Parts, St. George. Come hit me up if you need anything. One last goodbye to the old jailbird. I'm sure we'll see it out on the trail or stuck. He said this is his first four-wheel drive. Yep. So he's excited, and I'm kind of, I don't know, when you put 200,000 miles on a Jeep, you get attached to him, even though it looks like I don't love it much. I did. Give it a little love over the years. <laughs> All right, well, there's that deck of battery, if you guys wonder what kind of battery it was that sat there since May and started right up. Feel her K on that old girl. There's no warranty on it. <laughs> there goes the old jailbird. I didn't even shed a tear. That's why I got my sunglasses on now. Trying to be a tough guy and getting rid of my baby. All kidding aside, don't get attached to him. It's just a Jeep. 